Hey Simleys, it's Delicracy here with Let's Play The Sims 4 Barbie Season 3, Episode 28. And we are actually at Diamond's house uh, with the kids because you guys, we're requesting to see Diamond because we haven't been here for a while and I am also working on the new Barbie dream house. So I thought we may as well focus on all of the other family homes uh, whilst we're working on a new dream house home or dream penthouse or ooh, what could it be? But I've been asking on Twitter for a lot of you guys to give me some feedback and hey it's ruby in here you also i was thinking that maybe ruby maybe it's time for ruby to move out of home and in with marco who she uh hooked up with it was a family butler and they ended up having a bit of a romance and she has always been very self-centered, very fiery and driven. And I think that she's the kind of girl to just be like, mom and dad, I'm moving out. I'm marrying Marco and we're going to elope. And clearly her mom and dad weren't really happy with that when she told them in the last part she was actually romantic with him. So, you know, it's a bit of drama. It's a bit of drama for this most of the time very perfect family <laughs> and ken shaved his head in the last part and bobby was like no ken <laughs> but i've got to say diamond and ruby um are definitely more curvier girls as they've gotten older which i don't mind in this lp i quite like it actually uh, to just add a little bit of different body shapes because I always see comments where you guys are like, can you please get them to exercise or something? And yes, I'm all for exercising, but I'm also for having a realistic gameplay where not every sim's like fit, trim, taut and terrific. You know what I mean? I like a bit of curves in my life, guys. I like a bit of curves. Uh, who's this chick? Penny Pizzazz. Oh my gosh, Diamond absolutely hates that chick. Why is she even in our household? What is wrong with you? <gasps> Why did we not like this? Things had gone awry with this relationship. Can it be salvaged? I don't even remember why they were so not happy with each other. But, oh my god, they could have a fight. They could have a fight. Just because I we've never had a fight in the Barbie LP. Maybe she could have come over because she's a neighbor and been like, you guys are too noisy or something. And she'd be like, just because I like listening to Zane, full blast, it doesn't mean that you have to come give me a hard time about it. And Bobby would be like, uh, honey, do you maybe want to maybe wanna calm down? <laughs> Ruby's like, oh yeah, go get her, sister. <laughs> oh no, what's happened to this perfectly pink LP? Oh my gosh, it's a cat fight. Diamond is in a cat fight. I have to say, if it was going to be any of the family members, I probably would have picked Ruby or Diamond because they're the most fiery. Or Gem, but obviously not a cat fight. Wow. It, it stirred up the game so much, it just froze. They have had it. They are now enemies. <gasps> oh, look at Ken. He's so disappointed in Diamond. He's like, honey... Oh my gosh, they're leaving? Wow. And Bobby's like trying to break it up. She's like, honey, please, please, you're in front of your kids. And she's like, damn, mom, I never knew you could be so badass. <laughs> okay, let's not do a smooth apology. Let's ask to leave. And that definitely might have affected the kids, uh, the parenting for the kids, actually. Yeah, the kids aren't that doing that well grade school how can he be missing school when it's eight o'clock at night that is a weird glitch that is a weird glitch i actually think it's probably time for Armani to age up we might age him up it's well and truly time i think uh because we've been aging up the sims by ourselves in this lp we haven't been focusing on the game length of time I really want to be friends with someone, but they don't seem to really want to be friends with me. How can I make them my friend? Just keep being friendly. Oh, that's nice hey, advice. <laughs> oh, gosh. I should really get going now. Thanks for hanging out with me. See you later. Wow. Salty. Salty. Gosh, I've never seen Diamond so angry. She's like, come in here to cool down a little bit. Did she knock over a doll's house or anything? Oh, we don't have a doll's house in here. She's the parenting level one. Oh, good. She's calming herself down. Good stuff. She's like, breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Let's rant and rage to Barbie a little bit. Barbie's just like, oh, I'm so sorry you have to see that. That is your oldest sister. 
Diamond's always been a fiery one. She's very passionate and with passion sometimes it becomes a nature of being ferocious. Mercedes is like, okay, I'm gonna go to my room now. <laughs> Crimp. We really need what to do another makeover of a few of the families, I think. Like a Barbie Blog. mega makeover video, I think. Like every family needs to be made over. Blob Abgor. Oh wow, Whoa, she's so angry. Let's maybe give Bobby an apartment key. Hope you like the fruitcake. It's an amazing family heirloom. Ruby, please put your legs together, girl. <laughs> Let's just have a deep conversation, maybe. She's just stomping around everywhere. Like, thank you, honey buds. Oh wow, the drama is real. Okay, Armani, maybe we could do like, what's the time? It's nine o'clock at night. It's a bit late to do something today or tonight, I think, unless we just had a nice little quick late dinner with the family, but there's not really enough room here to fit everyone in. because This is a smaller apartment. A very highly stylized apartment. Very feminine, but uh, yeah, probably not. They're probably better off going to a restaurant. That's a good boy. I reckon Armani should go to bed. Actually, I want Diamond to do a little bit of parenting. <laughs> we will get her to put Armani to bed. I think that's important. Uh, we'll spray the monster under the bed and then put Armani to bed. Because uh, it's probably his last night as a child. That's so sad. Oh, she doesn't have to spray the monster because uh, there's already the light there to make sure that the monster doesn't uh, come and get you. Oh, Armani. Nabakuzu? Oh, it's so cute. Also, sorry guys, I do have the sniffles. I just went for a um, jog to the supermarket and it's winter in Australia, so it's quite chilly outside. So I do get the sniffles from the cold air. Whoa, that, that was amazing. <laughs> whoa, 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 what's going on here? <laughs> that was the most epic and extra tucking into bed thing I've ever seen in The Sims. Okay, so he's in bed. Mercedes, how's she going? saying she's missing school as well. That's so weird. That is so weird. I don't know. Uh, oh, good. I thought I put him into the wrong bed. Maybe we'll tuck Mercedes in. Oh, what? We can't tuck in Mercedes? That's so sad. Yo, zip. Why not? Talifa. Why can't we tuck Mercedes in? Ill you can't tuck me. a teen in? My mom still tucks me into bed, and I'm a young adult. <laughs> well, when I stay at home. I don't live at home with my mom anymore. But when I go home and visit her, I do. What's in the photo? Let's see. Can anyone spot Mercedes? Which one would Mercedes be? I think she'd be the... Oh. What hair did she originally have? Brown hair? Maybe she's the one in the middle, in the back row. Maybe that's Mercedes. Okay, she's asleep. Let's put on auto lights so they can actually sleep in the dark. And I'm thinking, I mean, it's pretty late, but remember Diamond was getting to know that gentleman, Daryl? And I just thought he was so perfect for her because he looks yeah, like dude, a slightly well. older man. Perhaps he has a bit of, oh, a bit of money. Damn, he's sleeping. He's sleeping. No, I want a Daryl and Diamond to get together. Daryl and Diamond. Can you just imagine their names on the wedding invitation? Perfection. All right. Well, now that those guys are asleep and we've checked in on them and they've had some drama, I think what I'm going to do is actually head over to Ruby's house. I don't know why the game is lagging so much. I think because I've had it on all day and been in a lot of different LPs. But I'm going to head over to Ruby and we're going to move her in with the, uh, the butler. Well, Marco now. Okay, so we are now at Ruby's new apartment. Well, actually Marco's apartment, which Ruby's about to move into. She's decided to fly away from the dream penthouse coop and broaden her horizons and see what it's like so, to live on gosh. her own. Oh my gosh, is that? Oh my gosh, we're missing it. Marco welcomed her. Oh my gosh, and he's still in his butler wear. We really need to get him some different clothes. Now, I don't know how many of you guys realized, but in the last part, uh, 
Ruby is pregnant with Marco's baby and she needs to actually share the, the, the news with him. So let's get them to go home, to go upstairs. And this is definitely the kind of house that Ruby probably isn't used to. She's used to being very spoiled. And this house is, this house is definitely nothing fancy. Like, check it out. It's very, wait, is it this one? Where'd she go? Where'd she go? I've lost her. Oh, she's back down here again. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is his house. Yeah, so it's got some older furniture, you know. It definitely has like a lot of old crumpled up fridges and stuff. I don't even know what the lot traits are. What are they? Uh, it might need like some tender love and care or something. Let's see. Yeah, it needs TLC, which is a trait it cannot be removed. But lo and behold, don't worry, Ruby does have the wonderful trait of, well, she doesn't have the trait. She has the wonderful luck of having Margie's inheritance. So she, she does have a small fortune that she can access. And uh, I want to ask you guys to comment down below how you think this apartment should be redecorated. Do we go crazy with it and make it very very ruby-like, very different, or do we go with something that Marco might like? Oh my God, I feel like Ruby hates the apartment so much. She just keeps leaving it and going downstairs because she can't stand it. <laughs> By the way, I love all these stairs going down the side of the house. It's so cool. Down I really don't like them hanging out down here because it's really annoying with the camera. <laughs> Why is there a creepy guy with a mask walking down the street? That's scary. You know what, guys? Can you please chat here? Because this is just too difficult for me. Oh my god, everyone's wearing masks. There must be some festival thing going on. Maybe they can, maybe she can share the big news over here near the fountain because they're getting to know her new neighborhood. How, I mean, that would be such a cool building to live in. So New York. Oh, I love it. Okay, so let's go up to Marco here and share the big news. Oh my gosh which no one knows about yet. It's like, uh, Marco, we're having a baby. Oh, he looks so excited and proud. She looks really scared though, probably because she hasn't told her mom or anyone or any of her nine siblings or eight siblings. Oh, deep conversation. So I think Marco definitely should propose to Ruby. Uh, because I just feel like he would really want to seal the deal, make it official, and really want to make it work with her. I think so. And we might get her to go use the toilet and have something to eat. She'd probably buy something to eat down here because she'd be like, I want to eat out of that fridge. <laughs> that fridge looks dirty. <laughs> I just imagine that's how she would talk. Meanwhile, I think Marco could definitely do with a little bit of makeover. Oh my gosh, they have a balcony. I love this. We could make this apartment look so cool. Oh, this is the cutest balcony ever. This is such a cool house. I love the view. I love this lot. I, I don't think I've actually used this lot before. Is there a mirror on the wall? Oh, where are we? Where are we? There we go. Oh, there's not even a mirror on here. Oh, I just realized we have a serious financial issue. It looks like since Marco got fired, he ain't been doing so well. Oh, great. Jeez. Jeez. Jeez willikers. Does he have a job? He doesn't have a job. Well, first things first, you need to get a career, Marco. And then you can then you can plan your outfit. What's his skills? Uh oh. Oh damn it. No, no, no. We need to check what his skills are first. So his com his comedy is 10? What? That is the most randomest thing ever. I de I swear I did not do that. His comedy is 10? That's bizarre. That's, that is really bizarre. Well, I guess we'll be joining the entertaining career. He, <laughs> all this time he was writing down comedy routines. That's beautiful. Okay, let's see. What oh. should he wear? What does Marco wear when he's not a butler? That's, you know, that's a real tough one. Maybe he'd be like really, I feel like he'd be this kind of guy, you know, with a 
long singlet on or something. Or maybe he'd be dressed quite well because, you know, he's quite the looker. <gasps> Love this. Yeah, this looks good. He looks very Italiano. Ooh, that's nice. That is nice. Okay. Fallen in love with Marco. Oh, he's, he's an Italian stallion. That's how I created him and that's how he is. I think we need some jeans though. Do we want skin tight je jeans, jeans? Ooh. What is this? Yeah, I'm not into those ones. These are pretty cool. I quite like these. I think these look pretty legit. Maybe in the gray. Yeah, the gray is pretty cool. And some boots to Ooh. cover up the fact that they're a little bit on the shorter side. Mm. Oh, I don't think the color of those boots really suit this. They're, like, they're too dark. They need to be a bit of a charcoal, a charcoal gray. Oh, this is, this is nice. Actually, when they're a bit smaller, they kind of work. They're kind of nice. Ooh. His feet look funny in those. <laughs> Is that just me or do they look kind of weird? There, these work. Okay, I'm happy with that. Oh, that's a nice suit. Marker, marker, marker. Can we also put him in the brown version? Or is wearing the same jacket twice a bit much? Maybe a bit much. Ooh, we can put him in one of these. <gasps> Okay, I gave him this outfit. I just wanted him to have a real Italiano feel about him. I don't know if that works, if you guys agree with that, but I think it's okay. Oh, he can keep the love heart things on. Yeah, this is all fine. Uh, actually, I might change this suit to black. Where is it? Where art, where art thou? Oh, I don't know where it is. Oh, I don't know. Okay, it's fine. We'll leave it. We'll leave it. We'll just change the shoes. It's the shoes that aren't working. There we go. And now the socks need to change. There we go. Oh, he didn't even have socks on. Mm -hmm. Lovely. All right, Marco. Oh, gosh, I love this. He's so, he's so pristine. He's like a freshly polished iPhone screen. You know, when you polish your iPhone screen or your phone screen and you're just like, whew, that is, that is nice. <laughs> Okay, this is cute. I don't know where, ooh, where he should propose. I don't know where he should propose, y'all. Okay, select a career. So we're definitely going to go into the entertainer career because he's a comedian. And he's going to start off as an amateur. Okay, let's put the walls down because I cannot see a thing. Working four days. Uh, he needs to write some jokes. Uh hug lovingly before he can start writing. Do we even have a computer? He probably, oh gosh, oh we do, that's lucky. That is a blessing that we have one. Okay, let's uh, write jokes, practice music, compose a long routine. That sounds pretty good. And we need to think about him proposing to Ruby. I mean, it's kind of cute if he just made a really nice meal on the balcony or something like dinner. A proposal doesn't have to be anywhere crazy, right? It could be at home and be nice and cozy. Let's maybe get some candles out here because I think that sounds good. And then we can have a romantic moment. Let's get the red candles red for romance. Oh wow, I forgot we don't have a lot of money. <laughs> let's, let's sell this so we have more money. Okay, oh, it's gonna be so beautiful. Oh no, it's eight in the morning. It's way too early for the candles to be seen. <laughs> well, as long as Ruby doesn't go out on the balcony, she will never know. Let's just lock the door for everyone. There we go. No one can go out and see. And he can write his jokes and Ruby can, what does Ruby need to do? She needs to write a column, but there's only one computer. Oh, we need a laptop. She can just watch the TV. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, I'm going to leave this part right here. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, let me know what you think of Ruby and Marco now being in a house together and getting ready to have a baby. Very exciting times. I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. And I'll speak to you soon. <laughs>